Welcome back to another episode of Meet the Scholars. My name is Libby Krieger and today I'm joined by Dr. Jim Thrasher. Dr. Thrasher is the Senior Advisor to the Vice President for Student Recruitment, Associate Professor of Biblical and Religious Studies and Humanities here at Grove City College, and the Chaplain of the college football team. Overall, he's been at Grove City College for 39 years, 20 of which he was the Director of the Nationally Ranked Career Services Office. Thank you so much for joining me today. Libby, thank you. It's nice to be with you. So I'd love to just jump right in. As I read in your bio, you have many hats here on campus. Student recruitment, chaplain, professor. How do you balance all of these roles on campus? Having been here at Grove City College for 39 years, uh, it's uh, been more than a blessing to have the opportunity to invest my life in college students. Um, we always here at Grove City wear many hats in the different roles that we, that we play. Um, but um, I love the classroom, I love administrative work. Uh, to step alongside the coaches and the football players uh, as chaplain has been more than a privilege. And uh, so I wake up every morning really excited to be here at Grove City. I have a great passion for what I do. Um, and um, I've had the opportunity to pursue my calling here at Grove City. Well, it's clear you're very passionate about what you do here at Grove City College. And in all your roles, you seem to have a lot of direct relationships with these students. So how do you equip these students to depart from Grove, so Grove City College in an increasingly secular world? When I was a freshman here at Grove City, I took a class called the Religious Philosophic Dimension of Life. Uh, that, of course, was the precursor to what we know now as the Humanities Core. For the first time in my life, Libby, I... Uh, had was confronted with and understood a Christian world and life perspective. Um, it's really been my passion for my whole time here at Grove City College to um, help students understand uh, the profundity and the practicality of a worldview and then of course specifically a Christian worldview um, for them to think about uh, all that they do say and think uh, should really uh, honor Christ. Um, so that's really before uh, before my eyes really every day as I interact with students really trying to um, impact their lives. Well, I think it's so great that you're able to step students through this tough process uh, leaving Grove City College. So you write a lot about calling, but specifically vocational calling. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? We certainly had a privilege to um, be the Director of Career Services, as you mentioned, uh, here at Grove City Nationally Ranked Office for 23 years. Uh, that's what I did every day was to help students understand their design before the throne of grace uh, for them to um, realize their unique um, abilities, transferable skills, characteristics, personalities, and then to tr make that translation to the marketplace and what their fit would be. Really our call is to pursue excellence on Christ's behalf out there in the marketplace. Um, so it was a, a, a very appropriate transition for me uh, to move to the Institute of Faith and Freedom, being the coordinator of the um, working group on calling and vocation uh, to, to have the opportunity to, to write about that. Uh, and it's really been uh, uh, a lot of fun. Well, it's certainly fascinating that uh, you have students look at this notion of calling through a Christian perspective. Uh, and finally today, what I want to ask you about is what's next for you? Are there any particular subjects that have really piqued your interest? It's interesting you ask that question because my answer really is um, you never know. Will be. <laughs> and, and what I mean by that is uh, that's really a focus area for me, certainly in regard to the working group, vocation and calling. But um, I've really had an opportunity to write on a number of different things over my time uh, with the Institute for Faith and Freedom. And it's really been a pleasure. So I have a focus area. I certainly am reading and researching in regard to calling, uh, excuse me, calling the vocation. Um, but I've had the opportunity to write on a lot of other subjects. Um, and I'm really thankful to um, the Institute for giving me that freedom to do that. Well, you've certainly done a lot of wonderful things here in your 39 years at Grove City College, so I know I'm excited to see what's coming next. So thank you so much for joining me today. You're very welcome, Olivia. And thank you for tuning in to meet Dr. Jim Thrasher. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and check out our website at faithandfreedom.com. We'll see you here next week for another episode of Meet the Scholars.